conversation about public safety. After George Floyd's death, several city leaders called to defund and dismantle... That woman is a nutcase. They say their goal calling people a, better a privilege. Well, now they have the funding to do it after they took millions of dollars away... Shouldn't be talking. ...last week. And they wanted to make even more cuts despite concerns from the police chief and the mayor about how it would impact a city already struggling with rising crime rates. Kristen Swanson spoke with two city council members leading the charge about how we got here. And what comes next? Kirsten City of Minneapolis is going to shit. If it hasn't already, it's going to be a fucking crime hole like Baltimore soon. Because of fucking dumbasses like these people on the city council. Most of my customers are even irritated about it. They have businesses in Minneapolis. They're about to fucking pack up and leave. Transform public safety, you dumb bitch. You don't know nothing about it. A small amount of people are calling on you. Not the majority of Minneapolis citizens. A small amount of people that have fucking raised hell, burned buildings, and caused a bunch of shit. The ones that should be behind bars right now. Not the people that are actual community citizens and and do something for the city of Minneapolis. A small amount of criminals are the ones that are forcing you chicken shits to fucking concede. What a bunch of candy asses in Minneapolis. You city council members ought to be goddamned ashamed of yourself. I'm sick and tired of hearing this shit. And I'm ashamed to have you people as Minnesota citizens. Because real Minnesotans aren't like this. Real Minnesotans don't do stupid shit like that. And real Minnesotans have the balls to stand up to threats from people like Black Lives Matter and the rest of the bastards. It cut massive increase in overtime. Gee, you wonder, why is the crime increasing when you cut the overtime? Because there ain't enough police officers in the first place, you dumb fuck. You lost over 120 officers after George Floyd because of your city council not standing behind your police department. And none of the officers that are there really want to stay there very long. They want to get to their retirement and be gone. And your recruitment is falling short, people. So the city of Minneapolis is well on its way to turn into a shithole. Gee. I'm talking about what is necessary today in this city, and we need extra resources. Uh, this city is experiencing unprecedented crime. Arredondo pleaded for additional two carjackings a day. Unprecedented for Minneapolis. A request that both Fletcher and Cunningham voted against, but that ultimately passed. Do you fear that that move and your argument against giving him that money specifically? looks like you're undermining his authority and his expert advice on what's happening in our city right now. It is. I'll let you take that one. I'm yeah, you don't want to so. talk about it, do you? I would like you to respond also since you were you were a driver behind that argument during that committee meeting. But So, uh, first it's worth noting uh, that we made the argument that that proposal didn't have enough detail, that it wasn't telling us what we were funding. The role of the chief is to manage the police department Within the framework Gee, of the policy what do you think it was supposed to be doing, you dumbass? But as the leader, he's the expert in police. Absolutely. Right? Not you. Is the expert not the city council. You don't know shit about the police department. The police department is not the only expert around public safety. We have policy decisions to tell these professionals what the goal is 
so that they can enact those policy decisions. I think this is a good transition into the safety for all proposal you both along with Council President Bender. Yeah. We offered Yeah, next time they have a guy, you know, swinging a fucking handgun in the house, threatening his family because he went wacko on some kind of medication or he's off his medication. Instead of sending an officer, they're going to send a, a social worker to try and talk him down. My God, how many social workers are going to want to go do that without the defense of a police officer behind them? Pfft. Squat. And the ones that do, you're going to get fucking murdered. Guaranteed. Because officers don't shoot unless they're threatened. Duh. Oh yeah, let's be a bunch of candy asses and cancel culture and just co-create everything. Fucking idiots. God, you people are fucking dumb. Well, they must have gone through Minneapolis school system because if they're that fucking daft. Yeah. You bet. start to see and trust that we're actually investing in it. How do you get buy-in from skeptical residents? I believe that it's about producing results. Cause folks are going to have to see really with their own eyes that this works. Okay. Yeah, and a bunch of social workers being murdered by fucking crazy people. That's going to put a stop to that real quick, and all that money you people took from the police department is going to just go to fucking waste. The worst thing that happens, if our additional solutions crash and burn, none of them work. And, I and that's exactly what's going to happen. Because these are carefully say that that happens. The worst thing that happens is we're back to the mayor's budget. We are adding solutions that are responsive to crime. Ultimately... <laughs> yeah, but in the meantime, let's let the city of Minneapolis residents suffer and the businesses be burned and trashed and harassed by all these fucking criminals running around because there's no resources to protect them. God, these people just fucking irritate the hell out of me. Can't you tell the way I'm talking? The city council are a bunch of dumbasses. Stupid idiots, idiocracy, and uneducated bastards. They call themselves educated, but they're a bunch of idiots. Thinking like this. Recognition of a problem. We have not seen acknowledgement of a problem. You haven't seen acknowledgement of a problem. And I do have concerns about whether they're going to block the culture change. So no one is talking about no law enforcement. Just to be clear on that. They play a role. We're building out all of these various responses and new systems that are more yep. appropriate. That yeah, next person that gets a traffic ticket is going to be from a social worker. Oh, and wait a minute. You know, might even be one of those bright yellow jackets. City workers. You know, one of those guys that's driving around one of those road emergency repair trucks or whatever. Yeah, they're going to start issuing speeding tickets or traffic warnings. Let's invest in more equipment for those people. Spend more money on the dollars that the police use to, to pre-check those kinds of things. Well, no, they're not going to do that. They're just going to send a city worker out to give you a traffic violation. And he ain't going to have no information about, yeah, this guy's a freaking wanted felon from Chicago, and he gets shot right on, right on the spot. God, you people are so fucking stupid. Don't you think about all these scenarios? and irresponsible. Despite this damaging rhetoric, the rank and file officers continue to honorably serve the citizens of this great city of Minneapolis. Kevin? A lot of good information there. Yeah, a lot of bullshit is what it is. You people just pandering to the fucking owner of the station, that's all you're doing. God, I'm so sick of mainstream media. Bunch of hoodlums.